Hi there, I'm Mike Cofini. I've owned and operated Cofini's racing engines for more than 28 years and been drag racing just as long. In those 28 years, we've rebuilt thousands and thousands of engines. When a motor came in that had a problem or that th we thought that was a problem, the first thing we would do is take the oil filter off the vehicle, cut it apart with a hacksaw, look in the element, and decide whether there was parts in the filter element from normal use or from engine parts that were excessively wearing and putting metal particles into the filter. An example would be if there was copper particles in the filter we knew that the bearings were failing in the engine. If it was all metal particles in the filter we knew that the camshaft was probably going flat. In racing aftermarket filters have helped a lot. They've made filters that we can take apart, examine the filter element, clean the filter element with solvent or brake clean or other cleaning source and put it all back together and run the car again. And this was a great way to decide whether there was a problem in the motor that was just starting or if the motor should not be ran again. The problem with that is that every time that you needed to check the filter, it was usually when the car was very hot. Hot oil used to drain out of the filters, run all over the car, run all over the ground, and not only that, it took approximately 20 to 30 minutes to do this. So while you were drag racing, when you came back after a pass, you usually never had the time to look at the filter until the end of the day. So at Cofini's, we decided that there's got to be an easier way to be able to check your filter and make it easy for the racer or even the street vehicle to be able to look at the filter, look at the filter element and decide whether the motor was okay or if there was problems in the engine. So what we've done is we started a company called Clearview Filtration. We came up with an idea, we manufactured the part, we R&D'd it and we patented it and this is our new billet clear view filtration filter assembly. What it has, it has clear windows here that you can actually see through to see the filter screen in the filter assembly. This makes it possible to, to look at the filter element to see if there's contaminants or particles from your engine failing without taking the filter assembly apart. Even when non-transparent fluids like engine oil is being used. What we've done is we've added an air fitting here to where you can apply a little bit of air pressure to the filter when the motor is not running. With just a little shot of air, it will empty the filter of oil and make it possible to see the filter element without unbolting, loosening, taking anything apart of the oil system, and especially without leaking or draining any oil out of the filter assembly on the ground. And not only that, is you do not have to add oil to the filter assembly every time you clean your filter like in the past that you had to do with the billet filters that you could not see through. Another great feature to this is that taking your filter apart so many times in a season wears out the seals on the filter element. And those filter elements are around $40 and it's not cheap to keep replacing them. And so this filter here, you don't have to clean it unless it needs to be cleaned because it's easy to do a visual check. And that's why this filter it will make it easier and faster for anybody, racer or street or farm machinery, any fluid system that needed to be filtered, you can examine the filter element in mere seconds after the engine is shut off to decide whether the particles in the filter element or from normal wear or from engine parts that are excessively wearing and putting metal into the filter. What we've done is we've set up a run stand and we have a big block Chevy here, mild race motor, that we're going to start up. We're going to put the camera to where it's right on top of the filter. This is a brand new filter assembly. It's, it, it has not had oil ran through it. So you'll be able to see that the motor, as soon as it fires, it will start pumping oil through the filter assembly. And then what we're going to do is we're going to shut the engine off. We're going to drain the filter assembly and show you how quickly it can be drained and a visual inspection can be done. 
Then what we'll do is we'll refire the motor to where you can see the fluid go through it again and then shut the engine off and do it one more time. We're going to do this twice to show how easy it is to check out the filter element when the motor is shut off. You could actually do it in, in seconds after you come back from the pits of a drag race or even at a pit stop if you have a circle track car and you thought something was the matter, you could pull in, shut your engine off, crew member could pop the hood, put a little air pressure to the filter and in seconds know if the motor's okay and send you back out there to run. And at least you'll know that there's not something that's going to happen to uh, explode your motor and that's the main thing is to save the parts. We know in drag racing and any racing that parts are going to fail. The beauty of this filter is to catch those parts failing before catastrophic engine failure happens. And, and it will save a lot of money in the future. Not only the money, it will save a lot of time. This filter is built completely out of billet aluminum. All you have to do is solvent the filter element, put it back in, bolt it down again, and you can run it again. This filter assembly should last forever. There's nothing in it that's going to wear out besides three common O-rings and the filter element. And you change those every couple of years, or when they need it, it could even be longer than that, then this filter assembly will last forever. It'll be the last oil filter that you buy for your engine. So just right now, we are going to start this engine up. I'm going to move the camera, get it over the top of this filter. You can look at it, and this is a really neat deal. This is amazing how fast you can check it. And anybody out there that has checked oil filters in the past, this thing is a must to have. Okay, now we're ready to run the engine. What we're going to do is start the engine. What's going to happen is oil will flow through this inlet line into the filter assembly, through the radial grooves, down through the filter element, out through the filter base, and back into the engine. What's going to happen is while the motor is running, you'll be able to see the oil pumping through the filter assembly to determine the condition of the fluid being filtered to see if it's dirty or needs to be changed. Then we're going to shut the engine off. What's going to happen is we're going to apply a little bit of air to this air valve assembly on the side of the filter inlet. The filter will empty a fluid and it actually will just push back through the inlet and the outlet opening lines and empty the filter assembly completely. <clears throat> This will enable you to visually see any contaminants that are trapped in the filter element for visual inspection to determine if engine parts are excessively wearing inside the engine. This will make it helpful to determine if there's a problem and the engine needs to be looked at for further repairs. Okay, we're going to start the engine and you'll be able to visually see the fluid being pumped through the filter assembly. Okay, now you can see the oil. The oil is not transparent. We cannot see the filter element. What we're going to do is we're going to apply a little bit of air pressure through an air chuck fitting to this air fitting on the side. What it's going to do is it's going to push the oil out through the outlet opening back into the engine and allow us to see the filter element in here. And again, it's not going to take a very much air pressure. Basically a simple shot of air and the, it'll just take a couple of seconds and then the filter assembly will completely drain to where right now you can see every part of the filter element. Now you can determine if your filter has any particles in there that need to cause concern. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start the engine again and you'll see just how fast the filter assembly will fill. It just takes a split second and the filter assembly is back full applying oil pressure to the engine. Okay, now we'll start the engine and you'll see it just takes a split second to fill the filter assembly. Now after the engine is shut off, another quick shot of air. 
to the filter assembly, the oil will completely drain and exposing the filter element to where we can visually see now for any contaminants at all, the filter is completely drained. I can see every particle that if there was any, you can see them that they're on the filter element. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to start the engine again. We're going to shut the engine off put a little air pressure to it and basically see just how many seconds it takes to empty the filter. Okay, we're going to start the engine. Basically, you come back to the pits. You want to check to see if anything's wrong with your engine. A little shot of air. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006. There it is. Completely spotless. Six seconds it takes to completely empty the filter to be able to visually examine for any particles that are caught in the filter element to determine if your engine has a problem. Again, in six seconds, we were able to come back and empty the filter element to where you can visually inspect the filter. Okay, we're going to start the engine. And what I'm going to do is I want to zoom in just a little bit, give you guys a better idea of what it looks like. Okay, now we're going to give it a little shot of air. Matter of seconds, it's going to expose the filter element. You can see the oil getting pushed through it right there. Completely exposes the filter element. Now you can look in here and you can see if there was any particles that could tell you that the motor was hurt, you would be able to see the particles and be able to shut the engine off, not run it again, or determine where the particles could possibly could be coming from. This is going to be a great early warning device and not only an early warning device, an early warning device that only takes seconds to check. This is an amazing item. Everybody that has one is going to save time and money. This is the first time ever that you can have a fluid filter assembly that you can visually see the filter element without unbolting, unfastening, draining any of the fluid out of it. This patent pending billet fluid filter assembly is far ahead of its time. In the last 28 years, I've put everything that I believe an engine needs into this one fluid filter assembly. It also has a filter element bypass valve that if the fluid filter gets plugged up, it'll bypass fluid not to hurt your engine. That is one thing that most disposable filters do not have, and that is a big problem. I've rebuilt hundreds of engines because of the filter plugging up and restricting the flow of fluid to the engine. This fluid filter assembly will not restrict the flow of fluid to your engine even if it is full of dirt and contaminants. This filter is designed to last forever. You can take it apart, you can clean your filter element, you can bolt it back in there and it should not wear out. There's no parts in this thing that should ever wear out besides three common O-rings and a filter element. That filter element is around $40 and the O-rings are around two, three dollars a piece. You know, it's un unbelievable how inexpensive it is to maintain this filter assembly. This should be the last filter assembly that you ever buy for that application that it's bolted to. If you want more information, check out clearviewfiltration.com and also check out billetconnection.com. It's a company that we are designing and developing also new products and we are building bracket kits and alternator bracket kits and some different application parts that will be able to mount this filter assembly to your engine. So check out our websites and if you need more information after checking them out, contact us and uh, we'll be happy to talk to you and tell you more about this patent pending Clearview Filtration billet fluid filter assembly.